Lou, we've got a real treat for you today. We're going to take you step by step through the installation of a high tech HVAC system. So, we came here to Great Falls, Virginia, where the heating and cooling costs of this 7,800 square foot home was killing the family budget. So, they decided to get rid of the old system and put in a new one that was quieter, cleaner, cooler, and is going to save them a whole lot of cash. We've had some hideous heating and air conditioning bills. I think we're averaging right now about $2,500 a month. For Melanie Perna, a brutal winter convinced her the time was right to rip out the family's old heating, cooling, and air conditioning unit, or HVAC system. The old one had served the family of six wells since they built their house 14 years ago, but it could no longer handle the six bedrooms and six and a half baths and had to go. We did have quite a bit of pollen and dust building up, so allergies were kind of going through the roof around here. Well, in this system here, what we were after was maximum efficiency savings with maximum comfort level uh, with the best warranty that we could provide for these people. After some research, the Perners decided on HVAC specialist FH Fur and the Train XL20i hybrid HVAC system. The Perners chose FH Fur based on referrals and fell in love with Train's efficiency and 10 year warranty. Floyd Furr is president of FH Furr, a Virginia HVAC installation and service company. The former Marine founded the company 30 years ago. The most important day of a system is its installation day. Installation is everything. You can make the best product in the world if you do not install it according to manufacturer specifications with trained technicians, you are crippling that unit from day one. Installation begins with extraction. Electricity is turned off, and piece by piece, the components are removed. The technicians install the furnace. The system modulates to avoid the highs and lows of the old systems. No more of the familiar ramping up of the blower from time to time. And as for that dust problem, the train clean effect system is state of the art. The system comes at a premium, but for the Perners, the investment made sense. When we broke down the, the components, it, we were actually getting more from our system that was going to pay off in lower utility bills. Typically speaking, we're expected to see somewhere in the neighborhood of a 30% return here uh, on their utility costs, and that's very conservative, very conservative. Uh, but we're also looking at somewhere around that four to five year break even, depending upon the use. And it also has to do with our heating and cooling days that we have during the year. Anytime you, you hear that kind of savings, that's good. Um, and I think that this system's going to perform a long time for us as well. It's going to hold up over time. How long can someone expect to have a unit like this? How long will it last and be and act at, at its highest efficiency? Well, first of all, you better maintain it. The life expectancy of this is somewhere in that 12 to 15 to 20 year bracket, depending on the component. Now may be a good time to take a look at your own system. The new ones offer great benefits, and if yours is more than 10 years old, it could save you a lot of money. At the very least, have a technician come out and take a look at it. Otherwise, hot air won't be the only thing blowing through your ducts. So will your hard-earned money.